Let's look at what happened. We start things off. He's racing the 42 of Ross Chastain. Yeah, and I think that we didn't see the beginning of this, but Kyle ends up having to check up. He's going to get into the wall, and Ross Chastain gets into the back of him and sends him for a ride. Yeah, and, and, and I mean, that was not the only problem that he had in this race, and I know Larry's going to break that down uh, in more detail in a moment. First, though, let, let's go to pit road after the race. Well, what are they saying here? This is always interesting because you can tell Kyle's curious. Ross is just kind of taking it. And then Matt DiBenedetto's like, hey, I'll step in. Hey, buddy. Hey, you need I'll, any help? Look I'll, at these just, I'll just finish my work. Look at these here. biceps. Yeah. You see these? <laughs> Matt's like, hey, I didn't finish in the top 10. I'm not happy. Does somebody want to fight? Okay. Dylan, as we go through the field, we find Martin Truex Jr. in the fourth position. And it could be back to back top 10s for that race team and uh, the third today. So he's only had two top 10s since he finished the win at Darlington. So Truex could get a much needed run. And remember, they've come through through the field three times today. So Truex up in fourth. Meanwhile, Tyler Reddick said it took off great on this run and doing, as we mentioned earlier, everything you need to do to be in the playoffs. Last week, they gained the most points. Today here at Atlanta, it looks like they'll gain the fifth most points. The battle for the lead heating up though, Rick. So the 42 car is now taking that high side, trying to take the line away from the 18. And look at what it does. The one car, Kurt Busch, drives right up to the inside of the 18. Kyle Busch off turn four, a battle for the lead. Door to door as they race into turn one, and we knew lap traffic was going to come into play. A little contact. Oh, side by side. Kyle trying to take the air off of Kurt. He doesn't want to take too much off. He doesn't want him sliding up the racetrack into him. This right here is where Kurt, if he can keep to that left rear quarter panel, he'll have an advantage, but there's a lap car in front of him on the bottom. Where does the lap car go? That's where Kurt wants the bottom of three and four. He will clear his brother here. Second place for Kyle today to your brother. What was the difference? Uh, just same as always. Uh, we just don't have enough front end with uh, laps on tires. You know, I had everything I had there early and then uh, just smoked it behind the 42, obviously. Shows you what kind of driver he is. Blaney was the first of the two stoppers to oh. make that second stop. <laughs> Excuse Boy. me, coming through. Yeah, Blaney carried him up the racetrack there. So their corner clear, in line, in line, right with you. Back inside, clear by two to the bottom, one back bottom, half bottom of the nine, half, whatever you need to do, by two. He's going to get sand. So, we got to take care of our stuff, so we got to be smart. We don't want to drink for the one very much longer, so, we don't have to worry about that. Copy, just be smart. We had uh, contact uh, with the one. You guys kind of what uh, came into that? Or was uh, that I have no idea. Uh, I, kinda, I was inside of him in the three, and I kind of got loose and washed up half lane, and we never touched. And went down into one, and he just decided to send me. So the next restart, I sent him. So now we're even, I guess. Hey, let's get to Ross Chastain. We saw on the big board, he had a really good day again. Another top five finish, but the final lap, He's going at it with Martin Truex Jr. Truex gets spun around here. What do you see, well, Jamie? Weirdest, weirdest wreck ever. It's the last lap coming off of, of turn two. It looked like Martin maybe had a little bit of a run on, on Ross. Ross slid up in front of him, said he should have given him a lane. Martin's obviously mad because he, he wrecks and, and doesn't get the finish he, he wanted. But I, I think Ross has a reputation of racing really hard. And so these are different. This, this is kind of the situation you get put in when you race that way. Ross has been all over the back of Denny, and he finally just runs into him. He definitely moved him. Probably frustration. He was door to door with him a lot of times, got under him several times, could not make the pass. He finally made the pass. That's not going to be, Denny is not going to be happy about that. Are y'all going to say it or me? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the 11 is waiting on <laughs> Ross Chastain, I believe. Or, or is he? Uh, here we go. Yes, he might be. Here we go. Oh. Right, out there on your tight, really oh. tight. <laughs> it was a show. He ran down the racetrack and then tried to get to him. But obviously, the handling's down. You knew he was going to show his displeasure. Maybe is that all he showed? So, is that it? Well, that was the first stab at it. <laughs> and they have a history together. Jamie. Well, Ross Chastain and Spotter and Crew Chief were all on board. They said, all right, what do you guys think? And Ross said, surely he won't. They said, time it out right and try to get around them. Regan. 
Well, Jamie, right before we saw what just happened down there in the corner, I checked with the 11 team. They said that he absolutely did not have an issue in the corner. They felt like they had just gotten run into is all that took place. And based on Denny's reaction, I'd say that that's how he feels. We are intensely watching. I can t Well, let's listen to this. This is uh, number 11. 35, back to the two and one. The tower just said they thank you major uh, point. <laughs> You're right. And that puts a period on that. Here we go. Round well, round three. Well, we'll keep an eye on this as Kyle Busch leads Joey Logano by a second and a half. Brian Blaney, another second and a half back. Clint, here they are. What do you think? Timing's a little bit better. But <laughs> a Chastain may wreck him again. This is good. He's definitely messing with him. Inside, inside. Yep. Held him up about as long as he could. He just oh, oh, around goes spins. the nine, Chase Elliott. Just had talked about how he got back in this race. I was just going to say, it amazes me that they can go through their four wide like that. When something they can. tells me we're going to have to go back and watch this replay. I think the one car had something to do with this. You mean the car that is right up Chase Elliott's left rear? Oh. Well, they were three wide. Just got into the left rear quarter panel, turning around. Oh, Harrison Burton slides into Chase. Uh, Hamlin and Chastain are just going to end up side by side on this restart just by <laughs> chance. Hamlin nine laps down and Chastain one of the last cars on the lead lap ahead of uh, B.J. McLeod who got the free pass. And right behind Ross is his other buddy. Tell me Chase the Lord don't have a sense of humor. <laughs> How there's, does that work? There's, there's Chase right there with him. This could be almost as fun as the front of the pack where Michael McDowell and Eric Almirola share the front row. Christopher Bell, Tyler Reddick, Eric Jones, Kevin Harvick. Here we go. It's going to be wild again, Mike. Well, Denny didn't, but oh, jeez! Oh, <laughs> what a double, it's a double on a double a tag team. It's the worst case scenario. Both cars you wrecked. Start meanwhile, side by side to you. Meanwhile, back at the lead, Michael McDowell takes off <laughs> from Eric Almirola and Christopher Bell. It ain't over, Michael. Nope. One still got to pass Denny, and Denny's not giving him any room at all. I'm going to tell you what. This is a show. No, there's only one solution to this. Park them both. What are you going to do about Chase? <laughs> but look at the enjoyment we're getting. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, man, not, not behind you guys here. <sighs> After Chase and Denny, you know, fighting over the years and having trouble, now the fans are both. I'm telling you, the one is still having trouble. Hey, now, Chase, Denny remember, Hamlin. Um, the one... If he is considered to have been damaged in that crash, he has three laps to make minimum speed or they'll park him. Look at the fans. Everybody the way, man. is nice watching this. Take care of your nose. That's Brandon McReynolds. Who he is, said, push him out of your way, man. The one spotter. He's got three laps to get up to minimum speed or NASCAR will pull his scoring card as they did last week with Bubba Wallace. I wonder if they've mentioned that or thought of that, the team. Jamie? And Michael, right when you asked that question, the one team got on the radio and said, remember, we have to clear the clock here. Well, this he finally made the pass, so he can clear the clock. So on the restart, Chase Elliott was right on Chastain's bumper, and Denny Hamlin to his inside. No <laughs> friends. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> that's why you don't poke the bear right there and I hate to say it but I'm, that's what happens there's consequences to every action and unfortunately Ross Chastain is experiencing those consequences and that wasn't all this continued for uh, about a lap and a half almost so bad that he missed uh, didn't make minimum speed like right. were Kyle Larson and Ross Chastain and see what transpired 
Really, Ross just blocks. I, the easiest way to stay ahead of a guy is run a faster lap time than him. But Ross unfortunately spends way more time looking in his mirror and moving around to, to put his car in front of everybody else than worrying about going fast. And he's fast enough to do it. He just has to get in the mindset that he doesn't have to spend every lap changing lines to keep somebody from getting around him. Talented driver.